Hello guys, my name is Lester Bello and today we are going to configure a DHCP relay agent. So we are going to use this server to send IP addresses to this network and on this network as well. So now we are going to configure the DHCP server. Come on desktop, okay. Okay, we are going to give 1.254 and we are going to keep it as this and this. Just in case, if you want to make this as this as a DNS server as well, so configure DHCP. Turn the service on. Okay. Okay. On. On into one. Okay. So I'm going to give the start IP address from one dot ten. So one, so one uh, ninety to one sixty eight one dot one till one ninety to one sixty eight one dot nine will be ignored. I mean the they won't uh, the DHCP server would not allow those IP addresses because it they are excluded IP address and they can be assigned to servers or routers statically. So save. Now we have to configure. We'll do this that later. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to configure the server. Enable. Okay. Okay. Host name Cisco. Now we are going to configure the fast Ethernet zero zero zero. Now we are going to configure a 0 slash 1 and give the IP addresses 2.1 and we will shut. Okay. Okay. So now we are going to check if this PC is getting an IP address from this server. Click on DHCP. Okay. So this PC is getting the IP address. How about these PCs? This should fail actually. Yeah, okay. Just in case I'm not lying to you, you can check this as well. This, this should also fail. Okay, why is it this failing? Well, those PCs are trying to get the IP address, but what the router is not doing is not forwarding those broadcast addresses. you know guys router doesn't forward the broadcast the purpose is to break up the broadcast domain so this broadcast domain and this broadcast domain are separate so the router won't allow 1.0 network if there's any problem on this network will be to broadcast on this network so in order for that to happen we have to insert a Okay. We have to insert the IP helper address as the relay agent where it will where we need to configure on this router because we these PCs need to get IP address from this server. So IP helper address and the IP address of this server. So that will allow the PCs to get the IP address from this server. So now we are going to click on that interface fast then zero slash one IP helper helper address one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two five four okay that's it so let's check it out this should still fail actually they shouldn't get an ip address must not get it okay why 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 did it didn't happen why did these the, these pcs didn't get the ip address from this server that's because we that's this 
network is 2.0 and this network is 1.0 those network are completely different so why this pc got the ip address because it's on the same network or where the server is which is on 1.0 network so that's why it got the 1.0 network's ip address this is on 2.0 network so this pc should get an ip address of 2.10 2.11 like that so we have not created the pool for that so we have to go on over the, yeah, on the server and create another pool click on dhcp with the pool name is 2 default gateway of fast ethernet 0 slash 1 which is 2.1 dns server will be okay the same router whichever here we'll change it to 2 and cl we'll click it on add okay Okay, click close, go over here. Now the species are getting the IP addresses. See? Just in case I'm not lying to you, check this out. Okay. Now the practical is working fine. So one more thing I wanted to show you guys is if I want to this server if I want this server to act as a DNS server and like for example you can access a website from this server if this server has websites so currently it doesn't have so let's create it quickly configuration DNS so create problem dot cisco dot com give it an IP address of this server click on add go on HTTPS toggle it just in case click close go on this PC type www.cisco.com ok click on this PC .cisco.com ok I hope you you got the message actually and I made myself clear so thank you guys and if you want the to download this lab you can follow sorry you can uh, the lab you can click on the link on the description in the description box and there will be a link and you can download this file thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.